Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. She's a blossoming actress who's been spotted in shows like Survivor's Remorse and Tyler Perry's Have and Have Nots. Yes, and these days she's taking her talents to the big screen in the upcoming film His, Hers, and the Truth. Mm. And she's bracing for the new season of Saints and Sinners. Please welcome down to the circle, Dawn Hathaway. Yay! Amazing, thank you. Mm. How are you? I'm Just amazing. gorgeous. Oh, excuse me. Well, oh, have a seat. You. Make yourself at home. Thank you. Yeah. Very comfortable. Absolutely. Now, I just got one question for you because you sashayed out here. I was oh, so wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> Did she? she did a one -way I walk. was wondering, do you sashay like that at the bowling lane? No, you know, it's just that I know I'm here on Sister Circle, so okay. I had to bring it. You know, especially yes. being up here with you ladies because oh, you're flawless. You're so <laughs> sweet. You're so sweet. Thank but you. the people tell us you're, uh, you love bowling. Absolutely. You, you hang out at the bowling lane. And I was just wondering, do you just walk? walk onto the lanes like that. Well, <laughs> no, but My you God. know, I like to, when I bowl, I give it a little mm. Yeah, That's awesome. what you need, a little mm. Yeah. The last time I was on the show, I had so many people challenge me after that, and I was really? just like, you know what? I have to bring it out sometimes, but then I bring it back in. I can't yeah. show too much of my well, technique. Just go for the highest bidder. <laughs> we can go for the highest bidder. We can get a bag There you on. go. <laughs> I might be an investor, okay? Uh, if you're real good, like me. you say you are. Trust me. You'd okay. be, you be All proud. Right. All right. <laughs> now, Don, you have such longevity in the industry. What is the key to your success, despite mm -hmm. the, the ups and downs and highs and lows? of the industry. I have to be completely honest with you, and yeah. I tell you, it's by the grace of God. Hallelujah. I, I stay prayed up from the time I wake up to the time that I lay down, mm -hmm. and that's how I actually, I'm just motivated, yeah. you know, and it's, to be honest with you, it's just the energy. Mm -hmm. I have awesome energy around me, and I have so many people who believe in my talent as yeah. well. So that's it's good. a blessing. It's very important to have a, a village, a strong Absolutely. village. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. we love saints and sinners here. We really do. But can you give us a little something on what's going to go on this season and what most excites yes. you? Okay, well, first I have to get a shout out to, of course, Bounce TV, yes. Swirl Films, and yes. you know, those who aren't ca caught up, they can catch up on yeah. Hulu. We had Keith here yesterday. Yes. 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 Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 And, you know, shout out to the um, 8.5 five plus million viewers, but wow. season four wow. is definitely that's huge. It's yes. huge. We're the number one show. I'm so thankful. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. Congratulations thank on you. that. Yes. Thank you. Come so, on, Bounce TV. They're right. doing it. They're okay. doing they the ratings they, over there. Okay. Okay. They're doing big things. Now, how has your character evolved in Saints and Sinners this season? Oh, Angela. Huh? Oh, you gotta get to she, Angela here. Say <laughs> Angela, you know, I'm very <laughs> thankful to see how the writers have taking Angela from just a messy, little nosy mm. character to someone who she's definitely about her money. Mm -hmm. And you know, she likes power. So mm -hmm. stay tuned. I'm not gonna tell too much. You gotta stay tuned okay. on Sunday. This Sunday on Bounce TV at nine o'clock, eight central. Okay, yeah. cool, cool. So you go from Bounce and then, I guess you call yourself bouncing over from Bounce TV to BET. <laughs> I know. Okay, cause you're also in a new episode of Tales. Now of tell Tales. us a little bit about that and how did that yeah, come about? Yeah, so shout out of course to Irv and Visionary Ideas mm -hmm. and of course BET, but uh, you know, season two, well, season two drops tonight. So oh, that's, wow. yes, a, a two hour episode. Ooh, so that's gonna be good. Kanye, mm -hmm. Kanye has a new song out, so that's Oh, oh, so it's, it's, so it's down, down, to the, yes. down to the, oh, wow. Yes. So it's awesome. going to be major tonight. So uh, it's been, a, it was a pleasure working with uh, Irv and, of course, Visionary Ideas. Mm -hmm. and, and the guys are awesome over there. You know, Irv is a genius. Yeah. He yeah. Did, his no. comeback is he strong. Really is. Very strong. Strong. Yeah. Absolutely. He did his thing yeah. Absolutely. With tales, yeah. yeah. How did you like, what, what did you like uh, most working with Irv? Um, to be honest with you, I believe it was my character. Yeah. And uh, it's something totally different than what people are used to seeing me as. All right. Well, then, with that being said, listen, if you're staying with us for the entire hour, please, we have more we're done at the table. You don't want to miss this. <laughs> Uh, this is Circle Live, and we're still hanging out with actress and our homegirl, Dawn Halfkinney. Yes. We decided yeah. to bring Rashawn and Trina to the conversation. Trina, what say you? Well, okay, then. You okay, know, Johnny Wani. Yes, ma'am. They say you're down to the actress. <laughs> <laughs> but the people are saying that you're also a comedian. Oh, really? Uh -oh. Yeah, so we're going to take a look uh -oh. at some of your little comedic. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Let's see. Uh -oh. Let me find. Fellas, I just have one question. Why is it that y'all act differently when you by yourself versus when you with your girl? For instance, yo D, what up? Johnny, hey, how are you? So good to see you. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know. You know, I'm taking care of myself. But yo, I'm proud of you, Ma. You doing your thing, yo. I'm yes. rooting for you. And thank you, thank you so very much, you know. All praises to God. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, let me know when you're free so we can connect sometime. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Okay, sure. I'll let you know. It was good seeing you. 
Johnny, hey, how are you? So good to see you. freedom does this expression give you versus acting? Mm. Well, I, I actually did that video from experience. You know, uh -huh. I have a lot of friends who are either in relationships or married or whatever the situation is, and they're very friendly when they're, their significant other is around, but mm -hmm. you know, when they, excuse me, when their significant other is around, but right. when they're not around, it's just something it's different. Totally different. Like, yeah, I was like, you know what? Oh, so let me just do a quick video. Yeah. Yeah. I said, guys, where's the lie? Yeah. Ladies, hello. Right. right. And everybody was like, you right, girl, you right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fair moment. Awesome, awesome. We recently had Brad James on the show about yes. your, new, your new film, His, yes. Hers, and the Truth. So what drew you to this particular project and in your character? Is there some some real you life truth to her. I have to be honest with you. My character, I felt like I was just playing myself. Mm -hmm. And it was t being on, and shout out to, you know, uh, Coke Daniels and Errol, of course, and, you know, Burke Management. But being on that film, it was like family. I did not feel like I was working Honestly. at all. Right. I literally could basically say anything that I wanted to say. Yeah. And so the director was like, you know what, we got to turn it down. We got to edit some things out. <laughs> and it was just so much fun just being mm -hmm. around so much, uh, such a talented group of individuals. Yeah. 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 yeah for you. I'm so Thank proud you. of you, girl. I'm I don't really know you. what to do with myself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, so it's it's been stated over and over, and we've all heard this time and time again, mm -hmm. that women cannot work together in entertainment, mm -hmm. that there's right. always some form of a challenge there, there's not enough room and space for everyone. Um, we beg to differ here at Sister Circle, but we want to know who is in your entertainment sister circle. Mm -hmm. okay, first, let me just go ahead and say that you ladies are an inspiration. Okay. Wow. Yeah, you all, Thank you I watch you all all the time. Yay. Thank you. And of course, you know, Rashawn and I, we go back uh, for oh. far, far, not too long, because we're not telling our Right, right, right. right. <laughs> But yeah, so, you know, people like Rashawn, mm -hmm. she inspires me. And I have a list of other ladies who actually inspire me. But I don't believe that statement at all. I mm -hmm. feel that, you know, there's so many people in this industry and there's so many jobs and, you know, everyone can win. Yes. And that's all I want yes. is for everyone to win. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. I'm thankful for that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. Good, good, good. So, well, um, uh, Donya, amongst all the other wonderful things that you're doing and to staying staying uh, lit in this industry, <laughs> um, you're in a Netflix show that people can um, actually check out this month called Black and Privileged. Yes. Mm. yes. Mm. What's I worked, that all about? So, child? Black and Privileged, I actually work with uh, Mark Harris in Chicago, mm -hmm. and it's basically based upon uh, the community gentrification in the community yeah. it's very yeah. popular and it's actually based on true events so it uh, took place in the late 80s early 90s mm -hmm. but just gentrification within the neighborhood and the 2019 uh, and not only in Chicago but everywhere <laughs> everywhere it's very popular so yeah. it's a story that has to be told and it, it, it will be told good Ooh, good good, good. That's good. Yes. Yes. I like a good Netflix yes Netflix so you can just go sit down and just watch the thing all the way through. <laughs> all the way through <laughs> <Right. laughs> don't you have a whole bunch on your plate you are yeah. working like really heavily. We're all proud of you, by the Thank way. You. But what else do you have coming up this summer? This summer, I have some things that I just will. Oh, you're excited! Yeah, 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 you know, like, there go Dawn again. There she is. You right. Know, like, a lot of great things, you know, that have, you know, cooking up. So yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. For, for, for a young talent or anyone who's trying to break into the industry, uh, what would your advice be to them? I mean, we, when she says we went way back, we did a play together. And then the yeah. second run, she was, um, you filled in. I did. I, and I, did. I remember you stayed true to who you were because mm -hmm. the way the character was mm -hmm. played before, people wanted you to play it like that. And you stayed true to your character. Yeah. Tell us about why you took that stance and how that stance has propelled you now. Uh, yes. To be honest mm -hmm. with you, I feel like with any role that um, I'm blessed to receive, it's just like you have to be authentically you. You have to make the character authentic, you know? Mm -hmm. And so what I do is I take the uh, the sides or whatever and I'm like, okay, in my mind, this is what the character will do. Mm -hmm. And if, you know, when I'm on set or if I'm on a play or any, anything, I like to be directed. Mm -hmm. And just go on from there. And I mm -hmm. feel like that, you know, the character will speak for itself. Yeah. Well, Don, yeah. let me ask you this. Have you ever been in a predicament where you've had to really wrestle with yourself mm. about a role? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like whether or not it was like, man, this might challenge my integrity. Absolutely. I feel like there's some Sometimes I get um, 
auditions that uh, require some things that I choose not to do. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's nudity, and that's just for me, you know, no shade to anyone who does it, but I know that with nowadays, it's so popular. Mm -hmm. And that's just something I prefer to keep private. Uh, uh, you know, you know, you know, it's it's out. yourself. You know, okay. Okay. Me on it then. Okay. Yes. I don't know that up there, but if Denzel or Idris is down to the movie, no. What you gonna do if Idris Elba or no. The Rock is down that to the lead? The, the whole movie is down to the lead. What if they down to the lead and your audition is the other lady? Yes, she said no. Oh, it's what is that? It's it's a Bond girl. You know what I'm saying? Awesome. Oh my God. Well, yes. Thank you so much for being yes, here today. Yes. We appreciate thank it. Thank you, ladies, yes, for having yes, me. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. You can check her out on Saints and Sinners when it premieres July 7th on Bounce TV. And be sure to tune into Tales on BET tonight to see her as well.